it's important to know one thing about our God he never calls us to a place he doesn't have victory for God is not like King David who sent Uriah in front of the battle to secretly kill him God does not call you to a place to kill you God does not call you to a place to assassinate or to punish you. God does not secretly come and says, let me kiss you Jesus on the cheek and so I can kill you and so that I could betray you to your enemies. God brings you to a place to bless you. If God brings us to us, He will bring us through it. God did not bring Israelites to the Red Sea so He can secretly drown them and say, oops, it happened. Not my fault. It wasn't my fault that you marched into the Red Sea. No, God does not have those secret plans. God revealed His plans. He says, I have plans for you, says the Lord. The plans for good and not for evil, to give you hope and to give you future. God is not Judas. God is not King David sending secret letters says, hey, go there in the front so I can get rid of you. God does not call you to defeat. That's why He says, if I call you, that means I have something good for you. You have a reason to be hopeful. Hope of calling. And if God called our church to make an impact in our city, that means God has a secret plan. And that plan is for good, not for evil, to give us hope and to give us future. If God called you as a wife, you as a husband, you as a student, you as a home group leader, you must understand. If God called me, He has no secret agenda to drown me or to kill me in a furnace of fire. He might burn my robes. He might burn my enemies. He might destroy the Pharaoh, but He's not going to destroy me because God has a good plan for my life. Can somebody say amen? I really want you to believe that God has no secret agenda. If he does have a secret motive and that is to bless you because if we don't believe that in the deepest part of our heart we will be convinced along the way in life that God is trying to kill you. Israel was when they faced a Red Sea and the Pharaoh ran behind them they looked at Moses and they said was there not enough graves in Egypt? Why didn't we die as slaves? Why did you bring us here to kill us here? When there was no food in the wilderness, they looked at Moses and they said, why didn't you kill us at the Red Sea? Why are you killing us here with a famine? Because secretly they believed that if God calls, He has a secret agenda to get rid of you. But God never ever had even the slightest ounce of a secret agenda to destroy you. When He brings you to it, He promises to bring you through it. You know God blessed us with this building. God has done, if God would ever want our church not to exist, He would have not allowed it to start 10 years ago. If God would not want you to make it through life, He would not allow you to survive when you came out of your mother's womb. He would not allow you to survive the accident or maybe even overdose or the things that you had, the attacks that you had. If God see you through that, even in this period of your life, you gotta have hope. If He called me, He called me for something good. He has no secret agenda to destroy me, punish me, or bury me. Oh yes, He might bury the things that haunt me and walk behind me. He might destroy the robes that bound me. But God has no agenda to destroy my life. John 10.10 10 says, The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I come to give you life and more abundantly. There's only one person who wants to secretly destroy you. And that person is Satan, demons, and the devil. And the sin, it's not the Lord Jesus Christ.